Hey everybody, Fishman here, welcome to another video. According to my last poll, about 85% of you guys want to see how a bracket like this can be put together without doing any kind of welding at all. I can understand that because not everyone has access to methylene chloride, which is what I use, or even the other common chemical weld for this, which is uh, well done. So I'm going to make a bracket, and it's going to be a little bit different as you can see. It's going to be a little bit thicker because I have to make some allowances for how I'm going to hold this together. And that's because I'm not going to use, uh, first off, no welding, and also uh, no glue at all. Now, if anyone's tried to glue acrylic before, uh, it doesn't work well. Even the best of epoxies can pretty much just be peeled off. Now, they'll give a little bit of adhesion, uh, but that doesn't last long, and in time, it will actually just fall apart on its own. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I am going to double up the... A piece that's this is where the pipe is going to fit through. I'm going to double that up because I am going to hold this entire thing together with acrylic rods. So I'm going to, for the adhesion parts, I am going to drill quarter inch holes and then I'm going to drive in a quarter inch round rod. So that's going to be how this is all going to be held together. Now, right off the top, I got to tell you guys um, this method takes an awful lot longer than just welding it. The welding process, uh, let's exclude the cutting, because the cutting is pretty much the same for both of them, even though there are more parts here. The welding process took um, maybe 10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, but I do it an awful lot. We'll, say, we'll call it 15 minutes, uh, even if you're uh, not familiar with the welding process and it's taking a little bit longer to do it. This took uh, probably about three hours in total to put together. And the other problem with it is, of course, there's a lot of logistical uh, things you have to take into account. Certain things need to be done in certain orders, or it just simply can't be put together at all. So what I'm going to do here to start off with is I'm going to drill two quarter inch holes, which are going to hold these two pieces together. So this is going to be, again, where the pipe's going to go through. The piece of acrylic that's sitting there right now just holding them in place not really necessary for this because there's a lot of slack between the PVC pipe and uh, the hole that I drilled. But it's always kind of nice. I mean, this is an easy way of holding it together in the right place. So these holes are going to go together. And then I'm going to tap in. Well, I'm going to call it tapping, but in some cases it took quite a bit of effort uh, to drive in the, the rods. Now, I'm going to cut the rods longer than I need them to be. And then I'm going to use the belt sander just to... Just take a little bit of a bevel all around the edge just so I can pop these in a lot easier. You can see just at the top there, uh, there's just a little bit of a round to that. That will make this a little bit simpler. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop these in, and you're going to see actually, the thing that surprised me the most about this process is how strongly this was held together. I was expecting it to be acceptable. I mean, it, because all the forces on these rods are going to be shear forces, so any, um, there's no way that these two pieces of acrylic are going to be able to slide past each other. But, as you're going to see here in a few minutes, when I tried to just pull them apart, I couldn't. They're really well held together. And then, of course, after I pound these into place, I am going to uh, use the bandsaw. I'm going to do that off camera just to shorten the rod so that it looks more presentable. Not really necessary, but it is... Uh, just one of those aesthetic things it's just simple to do so I decided to do it and that's another thing you're going to notice about this sort of process it requires a lot more precision now obviously when you cut acrylic I mean in both cases the, the, the cutting uh, needs to be relatively precise because you are in one case trying to weld them together in this particular case you just have to make sure that all the holes are all in the proper places there you go I'm trying to pull that apart it, these are just two rods so far. There's going to be a lot more of this happening here, and I cannot pull them apart. So I'm going to uh, cut those off and show you a clip here of that. Uh, again, it, not necessary. It just makes it look a little bit better. So this is going to be thick enough now that I can write down the seam you see there at the top. I am going to uh, drill two holes. Uh, you can see it here now. And this is going to allow me to attach this to the bracket, the part that's going to hang over the back of the pond and that's how uh, this is going to be held in place. Obviously I could have, if I had the time, I could have gotten thinner rods. I could have gone with 1 8 inch rods 
and then I would have to do the double up here, which is probably going to save a little bit of time. But then again, after I've made this and I've tried it out, I'm not sure the thinner wall would be able to handle the amount of stress on this. So you can see that gives me a fairly thick wall there. And if I had I've used, uh, like I said, a thinner rod and tried knocking it together that way, actually I'm not sure, like I really am not sure whether or not it would handle the stress involved because I am whacking this pretty hard with a rubber mallet. Now apparently I mean, acrylic is strong but I don't think it's that strong. So this is how I am going to make the top bracket. It's going to hook on the tank and you can see there's a quarter inch spacer and then a one eighth inch spacer. That just gives me an extra little bit of gap and I'm going to, this is not how I'm going to be uh, uh, drilling this. I'm just um, measuring how much I have to adjust the vice grips so I can attach, the, clamp this down properly. So once that's all done, I'm going to put these properly in place and then I'm going to drill uh, both holes. Uh, I'm going to drill one hole, I'm going to drive in the rod, and then of course after that I'm going to use that as my marker so it'll hold it all in place and then I'll reclamp this in a different position and then drive in the other one. The hard one, the one that actually takes the most uh, precision is when I go to attach this piece I'm putting together here which is really quite straightforward uh, to the actual one where I've already the one I've already made with the two holes in it that is the more difficult one you can see here how hard I am pounding on this that is clamped really solidly in that piece of wood there into the vise and I'm hitting it hard enough to actually deflect it and that's how much it takes these are actually I mean these are going through uh, four pieces of acrylic, one's a little bit thinner of course, but that's what the force it takes to get this uh, seated properly. And there you go, that is held in. And what I'm going to do now is uh, reposition and drill the other one as well. And here you go. I did that one off camera, it's really not a big deal. Now you can see there's a little bit of movement that happened there and it's not quite square. It's so easy to put this whole thing, once I cut off the pegs a little bit, to put it in uh, the table saw and just uh, smooth it all the edges, which I've done here now. You can see it's all squared up now. So what I did off camera, uh, mostly because I forgot to hit the uh, record button, is I initially I've clamped in the the bracket section where the, the pipe's going to go through. I clamped it between two pieces of uh, three quarter inch plywood, clamped it in really hard, and then I lined up the drill bit, you'll see it for the second hole, uh, made sure it went down through the hole, and then I placed the part that's going to hang on to the tank, I uh, clamped that in place on top of that, and then that allowed me to uh, like drive in that rod so that uh, when I go to do this, this is the hard part, like I was trying to tell you earlier, uh, I have to line up that hole because I can't do them both at the same time. So I'm going to put this on here, drive in that peg, that's going to hold the whole thing in position, and this way the holes will line up. And a lot of this is going to be done off to the side because I am trying to uh, line up those holes properly. And I want to drive that peg in just a little bit further so I have that little bit of a, a, little bit of a feel to it so I know where it's sitting in the hole. Uh, so I don't want to have to pound too hard on that assembly you see up there. I mean, it is clamped in in a very solid, large vise, but you know, as you saw before, it moved a little bit. So I don't want to have that risk. I mean, this is well into the project, and I certainly don't want to make a mistake now and have that um, shift in position or anything. So there you go. Tap that into place. It's not fully seated yet, but it's enough to hold it, as you can see. And then I'm going to wiggle it a little bit here, uh, get it aligned properly, and then everything else is already set up for this drill bit to go straight down into uh, the other hole, the one that's underneath. So it's going to clamp this down just to be doubly sure. And then I'm not drilling down into uh, the part that's underneath. I'm just clearing the uh, the top part here. You'll see it'll just go down a little bit, and then you'll see a little bit of up and down there. That is just to go through the first quarter inch, just to make sure that hole's all the way through, because I don't want to go down further, because if it's slightly unaligned, like it doesn't take much at all. If I drill down through that other hole again, it will end up loosening that hole up enough that uh, it may not hold it in place uh, strongly. So this is pretty much all done now. I just have to drive that in 
Uh, I'm going to do a fair amount of this off camera now because it's uh, pretty much a repetition of all the stuff you've seen before. I'm going to drive this peg in down far enough and then I'm going to take this whole assembly apart and then uh, use a piece of plywood you just saw before and drive those down so they're fully seated. And then I'm going to cut off uh, the excess rod that you're going to see there and then that's it. That's pretty much done. It, and as you can see not a drop of glue was used, uh, no welding was done. The only real difference in this is uh, the part that I'm holding on my hand and my right hand is twice the thickness to allow for the thickness of the rod. And it is actually quite aesthetically pleasing. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And as you can see here, as I'm trying to pull it apart, it is solid. Uh, and again, the biggest downside of this is it does require some rather precise equipment. I don't think you can do this handheld. Uh, if anyone wants to give it a try, let me know how it turns out. I'd be most interested in seeing that. And now I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slide it into place, uh, replace the bracket that's there, and that's it. Uh, it does the job just as well. So let me know what you think of this sort of thing. If this kind of encouraged you to try and do a little bit of your own acrylic work you know, without having the access to welding, uh, it is something that you can do small project lists, uh, not easily, but it is doable. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, like I said, always leave me comments. Let me know what you think of this sort of thing. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's, <laughs> it's perfectly functional. I'll actually probably end up using this as a second bracket for this because I don't have to build another one this way. And that way we'll get to see how it lasts uh, long term as well because these two will be the brackets for that whole thing. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And... Bye for now.